for Corbin Burns to try and contend with tonight, Rock. Yeah, and he's uh, been pretty good against the Mets in his career. Three starts, a 2 0 record, a 171 earned run average. He beat the Mets in New York earlier this year. Swing and a miss. May have foul tipped it. Caratini hangs on for the strikeout. That's number 220 on the year for Burns. For Max Scherzer. Well, here's the big guy, Big Max, going for win, career win, number 200. Yelich swing and a foul tip. Scherzer has a strikeout to start his night. Swing and a miss, and he struck out the first two hitters. High fastball to Adamas. So Yelich and Adamas came back to back, and that's how Scherzer begins. It's Mark Canna came over from Oakland in the offseason. Burns wheels and deals, struck him out, swinging. Three up and three down, he's retired, six in order. Max is all set to work. One of the tough guys that uh, you'll ever face as a big league hitter. And he wipes him out with the slider, three pitches, and Scherzer takes care of Renfro. And Scherzer looks just fine coming off the I.L. Four batters all retired, three strikeouts. Three, two. As drilled to right field, Naquin going back in the gap, and he makes the sliding catch. Tyler Naquin on the ball that was slicing toward him, able to get over there and make the play to end the inning. He hit the deck, but he made the catch, telling Nimmo, I lost that one. But he found it, and the inning is over. National League leader in strikeouts, Corbin Burns, needs two to pass Carlos Rodon and does it. Good pitch. Third strikeout for Corbin Burns. Escobar has been swinging a hot bat. He's hitting 361 this month. Chopper hit toward the middle to his right as Adamas plays the hop and a close play, but he beat it out. Escobar legs it down the line and beats the throw by Adamas. And he's aboard. First batter to reach on either side, an infield hit. The Mets have had so many infield hits this year. That was not Adamas, that was Peterson who was over in that shift. And Scherzer wants to compete with Burns. He wants to finish off and get this 200th win on the way. And he goes down swinging on the fastball. Nine in a row retired by Scherzer to start his night. That's his fourth strikeout. No score after three. Lindor lined out to Yelich back in the first. Switch hitting shortstop, having a very good second season in New York. Line the other way, and nice. Lindor's got a base hit. Well, he hit the ball hard the other way his first time up, but he hit it right to Yelich, this time to Yelich on a hop. And Lindor's got the Mets' second hit. And that brings up Jeff McNeil. McNeil hitting 320 coming into the night. He lined out to left back in the first, 0 for 1. And it's fouled off, you know, and it's. Oh, no! What a play. <laughs> the Brew Crew ball boy. Wow. Able to uh, keep it on the infield. Oh, he got a little chin sandwich there. He's running this time, and McNeil hits a ground ball past the mound. That's going to sneak through for a base hit. Lindor will go to third by putting Lindor in motion. McNeil able to hit it just past the pitcher, and with the Brewers infield moving around, Wong couldn't quite get to it. And the Mets have runners at the corners with one out. Now here's Alonzo, tough guy to deal with here. 115 RBIs on the season for Pete Alonzo. Alonzo tries one deep left field. Forget that. That is way out of here. Pete Alonzo crushes one. Number 36 to put the Mets on top, three nothing. Oh, that ball just shot out of a cannon from Pete Alonso. Having retired the first nine Brewers, Christian Yelich struck out in the first inning. And a backdoor cutter, back foot cutter to get Yelich for his fifth strikeout. Persevered, and now you know. Oh boy, strike three. Six strikeouts now for Scherzer as he gets Adamas for the second time. 12 up and 12 down for Scherzer with six strikeouts in his first start back from the injured list. And it's in there for a call strike three. French toast on the fastball from Scherzer. Six strikeouts. Make it seven. And the breaking ball struck him out. Five perfect innings for Max Scherzer on just 54 pitches. Sixth inning, top of the batting order. Brandon Nimmo leads off against Corbin Burns. And Nimmo drives one to center field, chasing Mitchell back. And it's over his head, and it's off the wall. Nimmo to second. He's going to take the turn as Mitchell bobbles it, and Nimmo will easily get three bases. Mm. Brandon Nimmo off the center field fence for his seventh triple of the year. Infield comes in for the Brewers with Francisco Lindor at the plate. Lindor drives one toward the right field corner. That ball is down for a base hit. 
Nemo's in to score. Lindor to second. He's going to turn and drive for three. And Lindor slides in safely. Back to back triples for Nemo and Lindor. And it's 4 0 New York. Swing and a miss. Good cutter there. Yeah, way off the outside corner. Got him to chase it. So two out, the infield can back up, and it's left to Vogel back. And he strokes one toward the gap in left center field. That's an extra base hit. Lindor is in to score. Vogel back, tiptoes to second. He's got an RBI double. The Mets' third extra base hit of the inning, and it's 5 0 New York. Let's see, the Mets can clinch a playoff spot. They've got a five run lead. Scherzer's perfect through five innings. There's a lot going on here tonight. 17 up. 17 down. Swing and a miss, strike three. Max Scherzer has been perfect through six innings tonight. He has retired all 18 Brewers that he has faced. He has struck out nine, including Garrett Mitchell, to win the sixth. But that could also have been Scherzer's last pitch. Max Scherzer was perfect tonight. And now Tyler McGill takes the mound for the bottom of the seventh inning. His first career appearance out of the bullpen. Brewers still looking for a base runner in this game. Christian Yelich leads things off. A line drive, base hit, no hitter gone, perfecto gone. Yelich turns first, he's headed for second. Here's the throw, not in time. It's a leadoff double. Well, that didn't take long to get into the bullpen. The Brewers get something going. Rowdy Tellez now, runner at second base. He sits atop our home run leaderboard with 31. Rowdy, a fly ball, right center field. Back, track, and gone! Rowdy Tellez with number 32. And the Brewers on the board. It's a 5-2 deficit. And don't look now, but the Brewers not going away in this contest. Batter is Tyler Naquin with two outs and Alonzo at second. Bouncing ball toward the middle. Base hit for Naquin. Around third comes Alonzo. The throw by Mitchell to the plate. Not in time. Naquin breaks for second. The throw by Topa. Not in time. Tyler Naquin with a two-out RBI hit. And it's 6-2 to two New York. Brings up Nito, who has been exceptionally hot, but has gone 0 for 3 tonight. And Nito lines one up the middle for a base hit. Nick went around third. He'll come in to score. Tomas Nito, after the intentional walk, foils it with an RBI single. And the Mets stretch their lead back to five runs. It's 7 2. It's not Edwin Diaz with the lead beyond what a save situation could be. So Ottavino will try to get the final three outs that the Mets need. Struck him out, and the ball game is over. For the first time since 2016, the 2022 New York Mets will be going to the postseason, the 10th postseason berth in franchise history. And along the way, Max Scherzer picks up his 200th victory with six perfect innings as the Mets win their 94th game in 2022.